What's going on, Jerome? So, unfortunately, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings did not make the playoffs, is what it is. But super, super duper wild card weekend is upon us. Two games on Saturday, three on Sunday, and, and also one on Monday. Plus, weather impacting playoff games. I kind of love it. Kind of love it. So, uh, we're going to run through, again, entertainment purposes only. Uh, we haven't done uh, pick them in a while because we sort of just didn't have time for it. But uh, last couple weeks, we basically were sub-500. It is what it is, uh, but also you need like 52.7% to to be in the money. But, you know, again, entertainment purposes only, but I got a good feeling about some of these games. Uh, first up, uh, so 3.30 on Saturday, the Houston Texans with C.J. Stroud and Nico. I, I I love what Houston has done. I love D'Amico Ryans. I think he's a true leader of men. Uh, I love the, the heist that they pulled off with Stroud at two. I love that they trade up for Will Anderson at three. And I, I think that Houston... Houston's a really fun story, but I just feel like Cleveland has a little bit of team of destiny going on for them. Jumping Joe Flacco, he's been there, done that, got the T-shirt, and the Browns and Stefanski. I feel like they're got they got some momentum, and I feel like the story is going to continue uh, into the next round. Uh, I do think that the Browns win. Uh, I do think that the Browns cover. Uh, give me uh, Browns, yeah, say, say twenty-seven, uh, Houston twenty-four. I think that Cleveland defense is just. A little bit too much for a Stroud and company at the end. But although, I will say the Stroud future, I mean, the kid's going to be a superstar. Hell, he already might be a superstar. Next up, uh, the, the night game on Saturday. The Dolphins banged up 17 bajillion injuries on the road. Four and a half point dogs in Kansas City. Now, this one uh, is going to be potentially top three in terms of coldest games in NFL history. They're predicting a negative 30 wind chill at kickoff. So, it's going to be rough, and as temperatures drop, scoring goes down as well. I think the over-under on this is uh, pretty low. Let's see. It's at uh, 43, and 43 and a half. Interesting. So I definitely like the under on, on this game. Plus, even though Kansas City has not been great this year, I feel like Miami just has – too many issues uh, going on right now. I think they're too uh, banged up. Uh, even though you know Tyreek in Kansas City, all, all those narratives, I, I do think that the Chiefs prevail uh, in a sort of a low-scoring rock fight game. Uh, give me Chiefs. I don't know Chiefs thirteen, uh, Dolphins six. Yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those games. Uh, first of the Sunday games. So another weather impact game. So Buffalo, Buffalo gals, when you come out tonight, they're getting all the snow. <laughs> and here's the thing about snow games, like. As long as the field is clear, and if it's not snowing during the game, it generally doesn't impact things. Uh, but I, I do think that this is going to be, uh, by nature, a low-scoring game. I think temperature will be a, a factor as well. Steelers, I, I'm not buying Mason Rudolph, uh, and also T, no TJ uh, for this game, so that is a major factor. And the Bills, I mean, the Bills uh, are rolling. You, you see them rolling. The Hayton, uh, you know, five wins in a row. And... I, I do think that Buffalo, I, I think Buffalo could give the Ravens a, a run for their money in the AFC, but I, I do think that they get it done. Although 10 in what fact, uh, figures to be a very low scoring game, the over under right now is 35 and a half. I think there's too many points. I, I think the Bills win, uh, but I, I don't think they cover the 10. Uh, give me Bills 16, uh, Steelers 9. Something ridiculous like that. Uh, the late afternoon game. So the greasy, grimy Green Bay Packers on blah, 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 blah. Uh, go in and face uh, the former coach, Mike McCarthy, in Dallas. And that's Dallas. And you know, all this talk is like, hey, Dallas got to make some uh, noise. They, they got to win a couple of games uh, for Mike McCarthy to hold on to his job. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. But Dallas, I, I feel like this is a spot where Dallas is definitely going to bring it. They're going to be at home. They're a different beast, uh, home or on the road. And I, I think that the the whole thing about the Cowboys is, you know, Dan Quinn probably leaving for the Seattle job. Uh, but I think the defense is going to show up and show out. Uh, I think that Jordan Love will have a couple of turnovers. Uh, I think that Dak and CD will put on a show. I mean, CD um, Lamb made a very good case for one of the best wide receivers in the game this year. Uh, but uh, I do think that even though the Packers push for a late cover, uh, I think that this is going to be a one-sided affair. Uh, give me Dallas to cover the seven. It ends up like you know, 35-27. Yeah, a, a fun little uh, high-scoring game. Speaking of high-scoring, so the Rams and the Lions. I, I think the Lions' defense can get got. And, yes, uh, you know the good people of Detroit – 
We're waiting for a long time for this home playoff game, and Stafford is coming on him. Oh, you can't wear a Stafford Lions jersey. You're not a real fan. Shut up. Uh, and I understand that Stafford never won a playoff game uh, in a Lions uniform, but it is what it is. And I, I think that the I think the Rams are really peaking at the right time. Uh, I, I love their interior pressure with uh, the ageless Aaron Donald as well as uh, the rookie Kobe Turner, uh, plus Puka. <laughs> it was freaking Puka, man. Uh, and I actually do think that Cooper Cup gets his head out of his ass. And yes, Cooper Cup impacted many a fantasy teams this year, but I think he has himself a, a really decent game. And the Lions, I mean, the roar has been partially restored, but I, I don't think they get a win here. Uh, but I, I think that this is going to be a hell of a fun game. Give me the Rams to win outright and obviously cover with the three. I don't know. This is going to be like, screams like 38 36 type game. This is going to be a good one. Uh, the opposite of a good one. So Monday night. I get Monday Night Football get shafted when, when it comes to scheduling. But uh, the Bucks hosting the Eagles. Eagles are still three-point uh, favorites in this spot. No, 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 no. All right, so the Eagles started out 10-1. and one. They end up 11-6, and six, and they're flawed all over the place. You know, Jalen Hurts has that messed up finger, and A.J. Brown's leading an insurrection with the team, and that defense is Garbaggio. And the Bucks. I mean, the Bucks aren't sexy, but they still play good defense with Bowles. Uh, Baker is on his upswing. Right now, and I think Tampa Bay uh, gets it done, done at home, especially I, I love me some uh, primetime home dogs. So give me the Bucks plus the three uh, and the Bucks to win outright, say like a 2016 uh, type game. And that's it. That's it. It's our wild card, uh, super wild card weekend picks, uh, again, for inter entertainment purposes only. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.